All right, this video is going to be a short one. And I kept thinking about what I was going to name it. And I think I'm going to name it. Analyzing your limited beliefs, you could say. So what do I mean by that? I mean, growing up, I never heard the word millionaire. And I came to the thought of... How many other people never heard the word millionaire, let alone it became the word I said I'm going to be the millionaire. <laughs> so not only did I not ever hear the word growing up, I end up being the one saying I'm going to be a millionaire. So, you know, it's different pressure, but it's just a thought that I want to bring to y'all intention. Like growing up, your childhood, did you ever hear the word millionaire? Did you ever see somebody that was a millionaire? Did you ever have a thought of being a millionaire? And it's just, I don't know, just a, just a thought that I've been thinking about. And every time I make these videos, I don't want to make these videos. That's the thing. So I don't know. I got to get used to being on camera, being close to the camera, especially not having somebody to bounce my ideas off of. Like, I'm just, this is just all me. This is just me thinking and breaking down some of the thoughts that I have, you could say, or ideas or plans or anything. And pretty soon I will be setting up everything to be going IRL. And I got a lot of vlog ideas, you could say. And most of the time, some of the time there'll be videos like this to where we're just talking or y'all just listening and you'll be able to comment. And I'll be able to take that feedback and let's say a Q and A, for example, put questions down in the comments. I'll read it. I'll write down the questions upon the notebook and I'll make a later video answering your questions. And then, but most of the time I want to have it to where somebody's asking me questions while I'm, Vlogging, you could say, J just to keep having somebody to bounce ideas off of instead of just talking to myself and running out of options, you could say. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now with it. So, I'm in the basement, getting ready to move. Young, taking risks. But I'm ready. I'm, <laughs> I'm not prepared for everything that I, I plan, but... Life's a gamble. You got, you got to know that. You got to be ready to, because there's going to be things that, there's going to be obstacles that you can't see that you're going to have to, you're going to have to learn how to either jump over them or you're going to have to run through them. And then you got obstacles that you got to create for yourself so you can make sure that you're built for the ones that you didn't intend on taking, you could say. So what I mean by that is leaving your comfortable Comfortable zone, sacrificing, staying disciplined, and showing up. So that's that's what this is. Like I got hives all on my face from breaking out. I don't give a damn. I'm showing up, and that's what. And I'm not saying I do that every day, but that is the goal every day. You know, you're always gonna fall short to the greater version of yourself. But if if you could write down who that is to you, and you could write down what that person does. And you, and you keep a pure intention on becoming that person, even if you fall short, you fall short to the greater version. You fall short to the old version of yourself. So even though you never be the best version of yourself, because you're always, everybody's always evolving. There's no limit to to your involvement. But yeah, it's just like right now, like if I had somebody here, this video will probably most likely be an hour long. But since I don't, I got to keep thinking of things. And it's just, that's one of the reasons why I got to start preparing for these videos more. Because I'm just going off the top of my head, which is which I'm not fully prepared. Like I could have wrote down some ideas. But the main, the main idea I had was ask yourself, growing up, did you ever hear about the, the word millionaire? I never, until I wanted to be a millionaire. It never popped up in my reality. Once I wanted to be a millionaire, I started searching up a whole bunch of millionaires. And now that's not 
that's my whole entire news speed. So it's it's crazy how the thoughts that you give power to, it might not create your reality fully, but it it will come into your reality. Like I I want to be a millionaire. I believe I got the potential to be one one day, and I will be. But even though I want to be one right now, I know I still got to go through the stages. I know I always think, what do there's a millionaire version of me, and what is what kind of pain does he throw himself through? What kind of what kind of problems is he solving? What kind of stress is he under? What what would I have to do to become the greater version of myself? You could say. So yeah, I think about all that, and it's just a couple of thoughts for you. And <laughs> I said it's it's eighty percent of me didn't want to record this video, but I'm glad that I did because it's it's documenting instead of creating like creative videos. That's that's something I had to get used to. But if I'm just documenting it, I'm like, all right, ten years from now, I'll be able to see what I was upon when I was twenty four. When I'm when I'm thirty five, I can. Be like, damn, that's that's how I was thinking when I was when I didn't have nothing before the fame, before the riches. And it's only the beginning. Like next year, this year I read five hundred books and my goal was two thousand, which I did fall short to my goal. But next year, my goal is still two thousand books. So now I gotta start from zero. <laughs> it's not starting from five hundred books, it's starting straight from zero again. So it's just always saying this always reevaluating the standard and always making sure I try my best to not fall short to it. And it's very important to create your environment. That's one thing. That's why I must leave the city in a couple months, throw myself to where no safety net could catch me. And I don't know, it's, it's going to be a beautiful journey. And uh, one of the books, the only book, now, I'm going to take two books with me. I'm going to take the Bible. I might take the Bible, the Quran, and the Alchemist with me, but I'm definitely going to take the Alchemist with me. That's that's the blueprint. I believe that. And the reason why it's a blueprint, because it's always... It's always a concept of dreaming. So that means there's... In the book, it's all about chasing a dream and all the stuff that the person go through while they're chasing their dream. But if you don't stop, you could get there. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I'm not saying you're everything, all the sacrifices, like I said earlier in the video, some sacrifices you expect and some you just got to throw yourself in. You got to sacrifice your time, your sleep, your energy. And it's a, it's a lot that go into it. Family time, old friends, new friends. Like social life, all that. And it's what are you prepared to how much of what's the best way I could put it? The old version of yourself, who you are right now, must be left behind to keep up with the best version of yourself. And I'm gonna leave that there for you.